What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Chris here, Mace Collectibles. Happy Tuesday morning to you. Hope you all had a great 4th of July and welcome to the 125th installment of the Mace MMA Show. Got some really exciting news for you today. Let's jump into it. All right, folks, so right off the bat, I want to share some interesting news with you. Um, we've got a couple couple little details to go over here, some housekeeping for some upcoming breaks and whatnot. Um, but I want to share this with you here, kind of my my idea. I've been thinking a lot about this channel, and, uh, you know, any any goal that you have, is if you want to reach it, it really requires a specific vision. And so um, I know it's probably the worst time like literally the worst possible time. But uh, I want to share my vision with you. I am going to, and it's kind of in the works, open a brick and mortar store. Now in this digital age, on top of the economy being hot garbage right now, um, really the state of, of everything is kind of in hot garbage at the moment. <clears throat> I have decided to make uh, the one move that likely nobody wants to make right now in these times, and that is to open a store. So uh, this is going to take months for sure, but what I envision is a high quality sports collectible store. It's going to be, I mean, strict, pretty much strictly MMA. There will be some other odds and ends, some wrestling, baseball, basketball, football here and there, just little ones, kind of maybe key rookie cards, graded cards, stuff like that, that I like to collect as well. But, uh, it'll be predominantly UFC. I want it to be kind of a hub, a fun place that hosts events and, and, you know, fight nights and different uh, fun stuff, lot, lots of live streaming from there and so on. Hopefully people can all come from all over and visit, buy, sell, trade, etc. I think it would just be a really, um, really amazing thing to do. Something I've always wanted to do, but haven't put too much serious thought in it. But I've kind of made up my mind. So I just want to share my vision with you guys. I hope once I do get it open, you can come in and see me. I know that's quite a trip to make to visit a little card store, but we'll see what happens. Um... But I want it to kind of be a, a unique, one-of-a-kind, uh, you know, well-known staple in, uh, in the card community. So, anyhow, more to come on that, folks. Today we're going to be jumping into a couple more of the viewer-submitted uh, PCs, checking those out. But let's get into a little bit of housekeeping here. Uh, some Get your calendars out. we got some dates to note here. Uh, we've got a Pick Your Fighter group break listing up right now for two, uh, two times select hobby boxes so that group break is going to end i'm sorry the auction on that is going to end friday july the 8th that's for two select hobby boxes of course talking about ufc um, and those auctions in this friday july the 8th uh, on sunday july 10th that group break is going down so the auctions in this friday the group break is this sunday night 8 p.m eastern standard time right here on youtube we'll live stream it um this friday July 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be the member group break. For those of you who selected fighters in the member drafts, all my channel members, this quarterly uh, quarterly draft, this is your second quarter draft. This one is going down this Friday, July 8th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've already drafted a fighter, no sweat. You don't have to be there to get your cards. You're going to get your cards no matter what. But uh, I do invite you all to come. And if you don't have a fighter, um, you're not a channel member, you're, you're just a subscriber, or a casual viewer of the channel come hang out totally cool you can come participate uh in the group chat and discussion be a good time probably do some giveaways for sure we'll definitely be spinning the wheel we'll definitely be spinning the wheel folks if you don't know about the prize wheel i don't know what to tell you uh so that covers that uh monday july the 11th Monday, July the 11th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Trivia Returns. Folks, Trivia is going to return this Friday, or this Monday, July the 11th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, folks, let's jump into our first collection we have here today, a little Curtis Blades action. All right, this first collection comes to us from Morgan C. Morgan, I didn't get your social media information, so if you have an Instagram or something, people can check you out. Make sure you post it in the comments below, and I'll try to pin it to the top for you. Uh, but this comes from Morgan, a viewer of the channel here. Nice little Curtis Blades collection. Looks like 2019 uh, Tops Museum Collection Curtis Blades Auto here. This is going to be a Ruby numbered to eight. Nice card. Again, the scratches that you see are going to be on the one touch, you can tell, and not the card itself. Nice card there. Great, great card for Curtis. Uh, the always beautiful 21 Select Octagon side. This is going to be the gold, the gold uh, Octagon sides. 
from 21 were just absolutely gorgeous. Great card there for Curtis. This is going to be numbered to 10. And last but not least, we have a nice 2018 Topps UFC Chrome Gold First Auto Rookie uh, Auto of Curtis, Bla Curtis Blades. Of course, the, one of the beautiful things about Chrome was that the autos were on card there. As you can see, I'm a big fan of that. Not a big fan of stickers, but we got to do what we got to do. Uh, COVID really put a big uh, boost to sticker autos there for a while. But uh, we'll see what happens. Panini kind of leans towards sticker autos a lot, except for their higher-end products anyhow. But that's for another day. We got a nice gold here. This one's going to be to 50 of the 2018 Chrome. Appreciate you sending that in, Morgan. Nice collection. Next up, we're going to be jumping into a nice Rose Nama Yunez collection. Let's head over. All right, this Rose Nama Yunez collection comes to us from Docs MMA. Docs MMA, appreciate you sending in your collection photos here. Uh, make sure to post your social handles um, in the comments, and we'll get them pinned up at the top. We've got a slew of nice auto posters here. This is an awesome one of her and Ioana here in the middle. Just some great uh, auto pictures. I love collecting these as well, and as you can see, most of these are PSA. You can see this sticker right here, right here, here, here. Nice PSA authenticated. This one's Beckett. Uh, nice signed glove in the back. Some really nice pieces there. I love it. I love how you've got them protected. Folks, look, even if you don't have frames, little things like this. Nice little plastic sleeve, page sleeve here. Okay, anything like that. Protect your uh, collection, folks. Protect your collection. Looks very good. Let's see what else we got here. Looks like we're jumping into 21, uh, 22 Prism. Got some nice rose cards here. Silver Hyper, uh, Scope. Looks like Pink Pulsar at the top there, perhaps. Nice Mojo Instant Impact. Uh, that's going to be 21. That's a nice one. That's going to be numbered to 25 there in the top. We've got a Ruby Wave, a beautiful cracked ice. As you guys know, I love these cracked ice so much. And a nice red. Jumping into the 2019 Chrome selection here, we've got a nice rose refractor here. These here are going to be, uh, and we have um, short print photo variations. The Rose Namayunas short print photo variation there from 2019 Chrome. Beautiful cards. Beautiful card. Some more 2019 for us. Uh-oh. We've got we've got a banger alert, folks. Look at this rainbow. Certified beauty. We've got the X-Fractor here. We've got the diamond hot box refractor. The green, the blue, the orange. Oh my gosh, somebody get this man the gold. He's got the black. He's got the red. Get this man 2019 Chrome Rose Namayunez gold. Help this man complete his rainbow. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we got some throwback here, some uh, 2015 champions action for Rose. Nice one, some number to 88, some to 188 here. We got two of the blues here. Uh, it looks like gold. This is going to be from 2015 Chronicles. That's gold. That'll be number to 88. Nice card there. Uh, this is going to be flagship, 2020 flagship. Nice camo black and red. The red was the 76, the blacks were 69, and the camos the 25, if I do recall. And then they had the one of ones, um, which looked like this. Very difficult to tell. That was one of the big complaints, aside from the horrible quality control of 2020 uh, 20 flagship. Uh, their one of ones were almost indistinguishable from the base card. It was the strangest thing. This, that last year, I don't know what the hell Tops was doing. I don't think they did either. Here we go. Some nice 21 select action. Uh, Rose, we've got some silvers, we got some silver disco, premier concourse, some cotton candy, tricolor, some blue disco there. Good looking cards. I like the disco cards, folks. I'm a fan of the H2 stuff. Speaking of H2, we're going to be breaking a case of that. Four separate group breaks, quarter case each time, five boxes per break. More to come on that. And here we've got some nice throwbacks, some Rose rookies. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of them. Some gold, some 199s. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. I think these will age very, very well, of course. Nice and properly stored in one touches here. And then in a team bag, just perfect, just perfect. Keep that quality forever. Very nice. I will tell you, though, the HS uh, one touches 
where you can put them in a penny sleeve and then put them in the one touch uh, really goes a long way, especially on paper sets like tops, uh, tops cards. Here's some 2017 chrome green orange. I think that's silver. Kind of hard to tell. I believe that's just the, uh, the base rookie there or the base auto there. Beautiful cards. Again, these are going to be on card autos for rows for 2017. Uh, some nice museum collection here, of course, with again the on card auto. They a lot of fighters did this where they wrote out stuff on on these museum collections. I love that. Put her fight name on there. You don't see that a lot. You don't see a lot of Rose Namajunas autos with Thug Rose. Really nice. Got the 25. We got the 99. Some more champions. First autographs there. Can't beat that. Anyhow, this is going to be a super super short print here. The autos that were on the inserts from these were super short prints. Um, likely number to 10. You, you could correct me if I'm wrong. Somewhere to 10, somewhere to 8. Um, I have the DC. I'm trying to think. I can't remember. I'm sure you can post it in the comments, but it's very low numbered uh, and, and a rare hit there. I, what I don't like though, I'm sorry I'm picking on your card here, is this. Over the top of the picture. That's not a good look. Not a good look. That's just interesting. I did not know there was a sticker for uh, Rose for that one. That's interesting. Some of you guys are probably like, wow, you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Didn't know that, folks. Haven't seen that. I know the Amanda. I have the on card for that one. That's interesting. Anyhow, folks, then we've got some nice uh, museum collection here uh, of Rose, the gold frame. This is going to be number to 15. Some nice, it looks like 2017 museum collection. Beautiful cards. I'm telling you folks, if you haven't held one of these metal frames in your hand, give it a go. Just, just solid cards here. We've got some knockout up here. We've got some uh, nice 2019 Octagon of Honors here. We've got the Pulsar. We've got the Wave. That's going to be to 99. That's going to be to 50. We've got the Fire insert as well from 19 Chrome. Um, and the Wave from 19 Chrome again, 50. 50 and 99 over here. These are so nice. These 35th anniversary throwbacks. Look how good that card looks. Beautiful Pulsar. There's a nice wave. That's going to be from 2018. This is going to be from 2018, like that last time. Anyhow, again, a nice. Here's a 2019 uh, knockout. Nice card. All right, we got some older ones here. Uh, some history of champions gold. These, a lot of Panini Instant here. Not a big fan of Panini Instant myself, but these Supernovas look super good. I like these here. That's a good looking card. Uh, kind of reminds me of the, the tops clearly, uh, oh, what the hell is the name of that set? Clearly uh, something, I don't know, somebody can help me out. But the cards are transparent, they look so good. Cool set, nice Invicta throwback rose from Invicta FC. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why uh, I can't get into the instance personally, but they're just really not for me. There's been a couple to come out that I, I, I like, okay, but, you know, mm, we'll see. Time will tell, though. I mean, there was, there's been some record sales in other sports from old Tops Now cards. Now I'm talking these are super, super aged Tops Now. Tops Now is the Panini equivalent of Panini Instant, if you don't know that. But uh, there have been record sales via Tops Now cards. So who knows? Maybe Panini Instant in the future... Uh, can have that same fate. We got some nice knock out there. Blue Auto from Rose. Some more museum collection. Beautiful silver ink there. 99. Looks like 25. Uh, nice auto relic there. I love these jumbo matte relics. Those are really nice. Really nice. Some 21 Chronicles. Got the Flux Auto down here. Flux cards look pretty good in my uh, opinion. Some more instant access. Some more instant. Really solid collection. Some of these may be, um, some of those instants may be numbered, and I'm just unfamiliar with them. Uh, we've got the classic Panini Instant Rose here from the weekly sets. Look very good. I like these uh, holders here, nice little display pieces. Some gorgeous, notable knockouts. These are going to be chrome inserts again, wave and pulsar and base. That's sweet. I like how you have that set up there. That looks good. That looks good. Here's some 2018. Strong set for 2018. That might be a diamond up here. Kind of hard to tell. It looks like diamond up at the top, doesn't it? 
Looks like diamond might not be. We got the X-Fractor, the green, the blue, the gold, the orange, the black, and the red, folks. You're looking at the full rainbow here. 2018 Tops UFC Chrome, Rose Namajunas. That's a certified beauty. We also have three printing plates. Printing plates don't get a lot of love. I don't know why. Uh, I think they're cool as hell, but for some reason they just don't, uh, in my opinion, don't fetch nearly what they should. These are sweet. Great addition to any set. It's 101. They're used to make the set. Get the hell out of here. This is a banger setup here. Very nice. Very nice 2018 rainbow. Is that the last one? That was the last one. Really, really nice collection there. A plus all around on both collections. Well protected. And deep. I like this. Oh, I really appreciate you sharing that. That was Docs MMA. Um, Hopefully we have the socials posted up in uh, the comments there for anybody who wants to give them a follow or wheel and deal. You are welcome to do so. We are not liable for any trades or transactions that happen on this channel. Let's jump back over to the desktop. All right, folks, I appreciate you sharing your morning, evening, afternoon, or night with me. As always, I appreciate it. Again, this Friday we have auctions ending for Pick Your Fighter break. We've got the group break going down. We've got trivia returning on Monday. We've got a pretty fire card this weekend, Fazeev and RDA. It's going to be a great week, folks. I hope you all take care of yourselves. And if you have a collection or uh, any cards, you anything MMA related at all you want to send in, um, it can even be card related. Say you're, you created a product that has to do with the card cards in general. Anything like that, send it in, folks. MaceCollectibles at gmail.com. I'll be happy to show it on the channel and try to get you some love and interest behind what you got going on. Uh, but that's it for today, folks. Wanted to drop that news on you. I'm going to try to open a store, kind of a, a new thing. You know, it's not going to be just like your local card shop. It's going to be an experience. I want it to be an experience when you come there. More to come on all that, folks. We're months and months away, but you heard it here first. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you here in a day or two. Until next time, folks, take care.